the Aquadrome Boxing Day. This here is Toby and his video blog. His surname's French, you may call him a frog. In his line of work, every day is quite hard. Click and subscribe and make him bigger than God. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. We haven't hit the aqua yet, this is just the playground bit. <laughs> Go on then. Uh, this could be magical. That's kind of leisurely. Yeah, there should be gears. That's not really exercise. Why? <laughs> Woo! I'm on a wobbler thumb. See? If you look at the lake, you'll realise there's a problem with the lake. There are birds standing on it. So the whole lake is entirely frozen. And that's the sound of a brick landing on the lake. <laughs> do you know what? I think I could do water skiing in this weather. Yeah, I think you'd be alright. I don't think you'd fall in. This is The geese. <laughs> it's very frozen. Other than this my goose migration going on. <laughs> you probably catch one, Rummy. They'll have you. Yeah. You're outnumbered four to one there. <laughs> four thousand to one. <laughs> Skate for me, skate. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> We've circumnavigated the Swan family and we've lived. Oh no! <laughs> that was nearly beautiful. I was expecting a triple toe loop, so I was a little disappointed. No are about to on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, almost no circumstances. <laughs> oh, he is the best snowman in Hill Rise. He's got a certain kind of contented look. He has. <laughs> Christmas tree construction so far. 
So far, so good. It's the gingerbread arranged. Icing, sugar, and piping, and this is the green bit, which is going to be slightly more challenging. Look how disgusting that looks. Isn't that amazing? Making slime. Okay, stage two. You can see it's coniferous. Now, stage three is get back to the white icing. My work here is done. Fully decorated with presents and a star. Mm, that's pretty brilliant. Uh, um, no, I'm not fast. Flyboard, we call it. Flyboard. Yes. Oh, let's go for the 70. Oh no, not enough force. Let's try again. Oh dear. This is all very solid scoring. There's the 70. Oh yeah. Yeah, there is a little skill there. Ricky Woods. There's the train. Lots of cold, wet people. Thank you, Polly. Please, for Christmas. Yes. Jolly would come on. Still quite white, despite the fact well, the snow's melting over there. Oh, this is a snow scene. But you know, so <laughs> that's the nature of Christmas, isn't it? It ends. Um, anyway, um, just when you thought that um, my Christmas presents weren't cool, yes, yeah, kettle. But I asked for a kettle specifically because that's the old kettle and it's crap, and I've had it about three hundred years, and it barely boils water, and it probably gives you, you know, Legionnaires' disease. Whereas this one glows blue. <sighs> Enough said, yeah. Well, it is New Year's Eve, so it is a Friday, um, which seems like a good place to end the vlog. Um, because tomorrow is New Year's Day and Saturday. So, as I'm not working on Sunday mornings anymore, the vlog will start on Saturday. But I am working tonight, working through New Year's Eve, along with uh, that over there. And some supplies from Sainsbury's, which is full of people who don't usually shop being instructed around by the better halves. So a bit of housekeeping first of all. Woo, dizzy manoeuvre. Um, I'm going to have to start making tomorrow's meal today because I won't feel like it tomorrow, so potatoes. Now roast potatoes are great, but if you go into a supermarket then they'll charge you something like £3 for a quarter of a kilo of duck or goose fat. If however, you had a goose for Christmas, then you can fill a whole Hellman's mayonnaise jar with um, with goose fat, which is about half a kilo of goose fat for free. Free in inverted commas, geese are very, very expensive. Um, so I will be having roast potatoes tomorrow, which will be awesome. Also, I need to show you what Crystal got me for Christmas, because it's very cool. So let's start with this, which you can add to my collection of so um, that's actually purple, the light's a bit odd in here. Um, so that goes with my I Love VLC and I Love Belgium. And the CTFXC is for haters hoodie, so I now have a lot of things with hearts on. It's almost as if I work for a brand with a heart in it. Anyway, and also, there, there is a couple of things there. There's, those are breathable wine glasses, which I may well use this evening if I can find a safe way of packing them. 
And this, boop, is some Segway riding. Yes, more Segway riding. Please legalise Segway riding in the UK. This is going to be my big thing for 2011. It needs to be legal. If you can let a three-year-old pillock on a bike ride down a main road, then you can damn well let me ride a Segway because I'm very, very responsible. Uh, which reminds me, I think I left the soup on. Yes, I'm in the studio and I'm at work and it's out of hours. What is particularly unusual about that, you may ask? Because that's what happens most of 2010. Um, well, that's certainly what has happened up to this point. Um, except the difference is that 2010 finishes in an hour and 50 minutes, which is quite a big deal. Uh, 2010 has been a rather impressive year for me. Um, personally, I'm very grateful for it. Uh, it has involved uh, working Sunday mornings, which was actually very, very, very constructive, and paid some bills, uh, which is obviously a positive. Uh, it involved meeting Crystal in April, which is obviously huge, and have made the year rather fantastic, to be honest. Um, it's involved this vlog. This vlog, no less, uh, was born almost at the same time, in Valencia, the start of April. Um, I've lived in uh, Kew for a whole year. Um, it's just generally been a, an interesting time. I've uh, watched people come and go from the heart office. I've turned down a job myself uh, to stay here. So, I mean, it's, I'm very grateful for 2010 uh, and I hope that 2011 is equally exciting. And I hope that you take every opportunity that you're given uh, this next year to uh, make it as good as is possible. But for now, I'm gonna go back and play some Muzak. So here we are, 2010's on the way out. There it goes. I'll see you on the other side.